When I first uh, reached out to interview Dr. Jeremiah Wright, it was during a period uh, that he was receiving unpopular national attention. And uh, this was precipitated uh, by the Clinton campaign, Hillary Clinton campaign uh, for president in 2008, in which they took a very small snippet of one of Jeremiah Wright's uh, sermons and used it uh, to try to say that he was anti-American or a racist. And I, I felt that uh, myself personally that this was a very challenging time so I challenged myself uh, to reach out to him and see if I could arrange an interview with him. Uh, I did reach his secretary and they basically sent me an agreement uh, that I had to sign and fax back to them agreeing not to ask any questions uh, related to then Senator Barack Obama, who uh, was a member of his church along with his wife and uh, his family. And I agreed to do that. I signed a document and then uh, they agreed to do the interview. The interview was challenging at first, but when you begin to notice as the interview went on, uh, he began to gain a trust in me as a questioner and that he could trust the fact that I would stick uh, to our agreement and ask questions uh, relevant uh, to his great career. And I believe that uh, Dr. Jeremiah Wright will go down as one of the greatest uh, theologians of the 20th and 21st century. Is a good and genuine human being and he represents that last stronghold of the independence of the black pulpit that does not seem to be what it once was and when he was attacked for political reasons uh, this was an area that I firmly disagreed uh, uh, with the Obama campaign and how they treated uh, Dr. Jeremiah Wright and treated him thereafter. All right, that's uh, Reverend Dr. Jeremiah Wright, one of my favorite people, a member of Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity Incorporated and a 33rd degree Prince Hall Mason also.